Hi everyone, Dr. Mac with another video today, and I'm sharing a bit of a technical task tip today. I do a lot of assessments, online assessments for a lot of my candidates doing the ADC exams. This is one of the common errors I've seen multiple times, and I thought I'll share this with everyone so everyone can get a bit of a learning out of it as well. When doing the lower porcelain fused metal crown, a lot of times I've seen this error, people reducing a lot of lingual side, a lot of lingual reduction, just so they be able to see from an occlusal view that lingual margin. Now, because the tooth have a jet, like a 15 degree tilt to it, and you'll see that in the video, it's always really difficult to understand why it's happening and why you can't see the margin. So hopefully you find this video helpful and get a bit of a tip and trick out of it. And we're doing some technical assessments today. I've seen this mistake so many times on Facebook groups, people discussing, few of my friends giving the exam, even professional dentists doing the same mistake as well in the clinical scenarios. But I just want to review this technique. I have shared this multiple times, even in my clinical demo demonstration and my theory, I have mentioned this, but I still see people doing the same mistake. If you notice, how much do you think is the reduction there? How much? Now, how about if I tell you this is not the buckle, this is the palatal. Look at very closely this. This is the buckle. This is the palatal. How much in porcelain fisted metal we do palatal reduction? What generally happens, and we've discussed this, look at the putty, don't look at the tooth. Look at the putty, okay? And what generally happens, the molar, which is 4, 6, and 3, 6, have a 15 degree palatal inclination or a palatal tilt. So the straight line axis of these teeth is not like this. These are the only teeth, the straight line axis is like this. And as I said, look at the putty for this. So what happens when you see it from the occlusal view, you will not be able to see the full margin on the palatal. Because if you see the full margin on the palatal, that means you have not done a straight line axis, but the tooth is like this, remember? The tooth is not like this. So don't confuse yourself too much. And you'll see that in the putty, a lot of people doing the same mistake, reducing too much on the palatal, just because they are worried that when they look from the occlusal view, they cannot see the palatal margin. If you don't see it, that's good. That means you've done a good prep. Now, I'll show you what it should look like, right? This is my prep. When you see it from the occlusal view, you'd notice the palatal is not very clear. As soon as you tilt it to 15 degree, now you can see this full palatal margin. That's how it should be. So if it's less visible from the occlusal view, it's a good sign. As soon as you tilt it only, then you should see it complete. When you start to see something like this with an occlusal view without having a tilt in a straight line axis, please double check it. You might have over reduced it. So these things, something you have to practice, but this is very important concept to understand because it's four, six and three, six, because of the palate and inclination. If you don't see much of the palatal or very clean margins, a good sign, it's not an undercut. It's a good clinically refined prep. As soon as you tilt it with the true straight line axis, that means it's a slight tilted that's when you see the whole margin. Hope this concept is understood. And um, any questions, comment below. But I think this is very important to review again for your molar preps. God bless everyone.